Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying yourself in this self-worth masterclass here at Sauter's House Coaching. I am Nathan Sauter and I am here pouring out my heart for you young people so you can take these tools so you can get your self-work back and stop worrying and stop allowing what everybody else say or think about you cause you to walk with a level of, of low self-esteem. You are valuable. You are special. God has an amazing plan for your life. And I am telling you right now, if he can change my life, he can change your life as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just giving you some tools that has definitely worked for me in this masterclass. And I'm hoping that they work for you. So listen, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and like and share. Help me get this message out to as many young people to help them so we will stop losing our young people to the streets to violence, to, to depression, to all these different things. I'm telling you guys, if you can get the self-worth together, you're going to realize I don't have to pull that trigger. I don't have to commit suicide. I don't have to do some of these things that I see some of my other friends are doing. So this is really the thing. If we can get people to start getting their self-worth back, we're going to see a massive transformation in our young people. All right. So in this particular chapter, we're going to talk about Another solution that is going to definitely help you in the area of self-worth, and that is find yourself some successful mentors. Now, this was something that I did that happened to me by default. Um, I didn't know that this was a, a solution um, when I was living it through it. But when I was out there, I mean, between the ages of 13 and 17, I was really that's when I was at the core of just acting a fool and just running the streets with wrong guys fighting i mean in gangs and all that stupidness all that stupidity and um so between age 13 and 17 is when i was out there just acting a fool chasing girls um just around gangs just doing things that i shouldn't be doing just completely uh forgot about my future i didn't really care everything was about how i felt at the moment and I remember I was working for a summer program at the YMCA and there was a man uh, who I saw that just took a lot of liking in me for some reason. Um, and I just was a little like, you know, why is he so cool with me? You know, and I just he just seemed like he would just constantly will always be on me at my work when I would be slacking or flirting with the girls or something. He would always come over. Late. All right. Mr. Salter, get back to work. You know, do this. If you're going to be a young man, blah, blah, blah. He will always just. And I'm like, man, what is this? Why, you know, and, and at the time I had a little attitude because I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I want to have fun. I'm not really into work. I'm into the girls and all that. And I remember this man one day, you know, you know, in, in the beginning, again, we didn't really start off well because I didn't know that he was trying to mentor me. But I do remember that he used to say things, these little nuggets to me and, about life and about, you know, hey, use your brain. He would say little things and walk back real, real fast. Hey, if you're going to be, if you're going to be awesome, if you're going to, if you're going to do something nobody else did before, you got to do things nobody else did before. He would say things and just walk away. And I remember one time, um, me and my other friend who used to walk to work together, we sat there with him at lunch and he started talking about his life and how his wife, his marriage and his family. I have never heard a man talk about his wife like that. I've never heard a man talk about being in love with one woman like that. Cause for me, it was all about the, the more, the better. Um, so he just, he, he made her seem like she was like something, I don't know, but I just remembered that he was really telling me, if you want a life where you, you have peace, where you have prosperity, where you have abundance, where you have joy, he says, you're going to have to stop doing what you're doing because he said, you're trying to get it, but you're getting it all the wrong way. You're chasing every girl that's coming to work. You're, you're constantly, um, oversleeping, coming in late. He says, you're, you're not taking care of yourself like you should. You're not making wise choices. And he began to mentor me. So one of the things that by default, I realized that he made such an impression into my life and God bless his soul. He passed away a couple of years ago. I found out by seeing on Facebook. But one of the things that stuck with me was the fact that he was showing me what is to come. And what a mentor does is a mentor goes ahead of you and a mentor already see all of the things that you are about to experience. And then they come back and say, listen, do it this way. There's a better way to do this. You don't have to do it that way. This is kind of what I'm doing with you guys right here. This is kind of a mentoring thing that I'm doing because I've already been through the high school. I've already been through when you get out of high school. I already been through all that stuff in the twenties, the thirties, and you start to see these things. 
And when I got into my 30s, I started to realize, wait a minute, there's some things I really wish if I could have went back to 16, if I would have made that one change right there, it would have affected where I'm at now in, in my 30s. Now, um, I promise you that many of you right now, you think that where you are today, that's it, that you know it all, that nobody have to tell you something, tell you nothing, that you got all the answers. I am here to tell you, get you some mentors, get you some mentors who can show you what success looks like. Get you some mentors who can show you what a beautiful relationship look like. Get you some mentors who can show you business while you're 12, 13, 14, 15. Get, get some mentors who can really talk to you about the importance of keeping your sexuality and not, not spreading yourself to everybody who walk in. Get yourself some mentors who can really help you in the area of self-worth. That is me. Get you some mentors your, like your parents. And if your parents are not there to, to, to mentor you, I'm telling you, there's people out there. If you can't find a physical person um, in your city, in, in your church or in your community, um, a guidance counselor, if you can't find a mentor in that area, there is mentors all on YouTube. There's mentors online, people that you can just study, listen to their story. Because again, the more mentors you can get that can lead you in the right direction is going to help build your self-esteem, which is in the area of your self-worth. Because a lot of you right now, you are, you have a lot of mentors. Some of your mentors is those toxic friends we talked about in the other chapter. Some of your mentors is some of these music stars who is really showing you the only the one side of the industry, but they're not showing you the depression that they're going with, going with, going through on the other end or in all the drugs that they have to take so they can come back to some reality. They're not showing you that part. They're just showing you them on stage and you're trying to follow them people. So there are some mentors out there. You can find them, but you have to understand what mentors you're looking for. So if you're looking for self-worth, uh, if you're trying to build your self-worth, you want to find some mentors. Every area of your life that you want to be successful, find a mentor in that area. That was something that I wish I would have went back and learned. Um, I really wish I would have had a financial mentor when I was in high school. I didn't have it. I blew my money. I, I, I'm now financially successful, but it took me years to get that. And I had to go back to a mentor. I went through a mentorship program in the area of finances, but I did it in the later years of my life. Many of you, if you can get this now while you're in high school, learn about money, learn about finances, learn about relationships, learn about these things now. You do not want to get into it and then just learn as you go. Some stuff you can avoid just through mentorship. So one of the solutions that I definitely encourage you in, in this self-worth masterclass is please get you some good mentors. I mean, for me right now, I have mentors in the area of marriage. I have mentors in the area of finances, mentor in the area of spirituality, uh, spirit. I have um, mentors in the area of emotional wholeness. I have uh, mentors in the area of business, uh, coaching, um, you know, just um, at, on being a man. I, I try to surround myself in all of these areas because guess what? Uh, leadership, all of these things. So I'm still developing mentors and I'm older. So what I'm saying is that you don't want, I mean, and, and again, I mean, I'm, I'm, I could be old enough to be a lot of your parents. And I'm going to tell you right now that if, if there was, if, if I was just for a, a mentor to you for one second, I would tell you, um, that some of the areas that I would actually tell you to get mentorship while you're in high school or grade school or whatever is finances, emotional intelligence, um, understanding mental health, understanding your purpose and your assignment, learn about relationships. All right. I would definitely try to help you in these areas because these are areas that many, many people learn later in life and they, they struggle. So these will be areas I would definitely encourage you. So again, find you some good mentors. If you don't have somebody that you can physically go to, then I, I encourage you go on, go to YouTube, go to online and look for some coaches, people who can, um, some classes for young people or things like that, that where people are educating. You want to get educated in the right areas with these mentors. So this is a solution that is definitely going to help you in the area of your self work find you some good, amazing mentors and coaches that can help you steer you in the right direction.